Hi and welcome, I am Helle from Game for Life BG and today I'm going to make a solo playthrough of the Guild of Merchant Explorers and this is a game for 1 to 4 players. It takes about 45 minutes to play and it's for the ages 14 plus. Let's just start with playing the game. So in this game we are going to explore and uh, this is a flip and ride game but where you're not riding you're actually going to use cubes instead of riding on a board but it feels to me like a flip and ride game and uh, each player they're going to get uh, 12 villagers and then 36 explorers this is explorer tokens i just have them beside the board and then you also have money because the player that is going to get the most money is going to win at the end of the game. I just have them next to the board so they are not taking up space in the camera. I think it's more important that you can zoom in on my map so you can see what I'm doing in the game. Then we also have some towers and we have some of tokens where we're going to cover up for when we have scored some cities and when we're going to find treasures. So that we all have to the side of the game. Then we have some treasure cards that I have uh, shuffled and we have some exploration, no investigation cards, treasure and investigation cards. And then we have the startup cards, the, the cards that we're going to, that are going to, uh, these cards we're always going to have. We're going through four errors. And uh, so we have four rounds in the game. And uh, when we play solo, we need to see how well we can do. We need to earn a lot of money. And to do so, we need to explore our map. We need to connect some cities. We need to make villages. And yeah, we also have some gold cards. There are six gold cards. This game comes with four different maps. And then for each map, there are six gold cards. You're going to find the gold card that matches the map you have you're going to shuffle the cards and then you're going to get three at a random so we'll just shuffle them and then we'll draft three cards and then we will see what we have to do to complete these different tasks the rest you can just put back in the box you're not going to use them when we play solo we also have these five tokens for error two error three and error uh, four the last one and these we are going to cover up spaces here so we can't score them. So we need to be quick if you want to score the most amount of points. If you're playing with more players, then the first one to complete this one would get 10 uh, point, uh, money. And then all other players would get 5 money. But uh, in the solo version, when this card appear, this card appear, then we're going to uh, cover up this space. And then I won't be able to, to get 10 coins I would be able to get five coins when we are going to this third error then we're going to cover up this space and this space then I wouldn't be able to get those and in the last round we're going to cover up these spaces so some of them I might not get the uh, points for or maybe I will only get five to win the solo version I need to complete all of these three goals so I have to do them all um, so these are only used in the solo version if you're playing with more players, then the first player to complete one of these would put one of these, their cubes up here and then will then score 10 points. And uh, if more players did it in the same round, they would all score the, sa score the same amount of points. And then uh, with this one, everyone else would score uh, 5 points, uh, not five, but get 5 money if they completed it. So what do we have to do? Place two discovery towers. So we need to discover two towers. With this one, we need to discover five villages. And with this one, we need to discover three uh, villages on different lands. So on our map, let's just zoom in a little bit on our map. We have our map here. So we have land is divided by the edges and water. So this over here is one. This is water. This is also water, so this is one area, and this is one land area, so this is one land, and here we have a land, and here we have a land. So I need to make a village on three of the different land uh, spaces. Then we have the towers, this is these, so we have one, two, three, four towers, and I need to discover two of them to be able to finish 
this goal we have here. And it's in the start. It, it might be difficult for us to make both uh, two of them before uh, we have before uh, the solo player is going to or um, before this is going to be covered up. But we might be able to do it so we can get five money. Um, and then we have villages. We can uh, we, when we build a tower, we will for the first tower get six coins. Six coins. For the second, we would get eight coins. And for when we make a village, we will in the first era get one coin, then two, three, and four coins. Uh, to make an a village, we need to cover up all of the same landscape types in an area. If there is a city, we would also need to cover up that one. If we have covered up with explorer tokens, then we can put in a, a village. And we have to make five of them, and we have to make them on three different spaces, land spaces. We are going to start the game at our capital here, so we can explore from this space. And um, these cities, if we can connect the cities, then we can score points. If we have explorers connecting two cities, then we can uh, multiply them three times two, so that would be six points. If we had these two, with nine points, and these two would be 12 points. This is treasure places, these water areas where we can get a treasure card. And uh, yeah, well, let's see how we're going to play the game. I will explain it as we play the game. So we of course need to finish these three gold cards to be able to win the game. And we have these cards that are going to appear in each era. So we have one. With this card, we can place one explorer token on a mountain space. And to start with, we can place from here. So I'll be able to place one there or there. Some of them we have coins on. If I place it on a space with a coin, I would get the reward. I would get the coin. With this one, we can place on two desert spaces. And I can play. I don't have to place them in the same area. I can place them in different uh, regions, so it's a region which where you have these, and this one is two grassland, so two grassland, that would be here from the start space. With this one, it can be any space, so I can decide which space to cover up. The tower spaces can be covered by any type of landscape, but uh, these cities they they are they match an area, so they are in a region. Then we have. This one is, uh, you can place up to three water spaces, but they have to be connected and they have to be in a line. So uh, that would be this way. I can't bend it. So it has to be in a straight line with the area. And then we have number one. When, when we get the error number one, we will have draft two investigation cards and then I can choose one of them. And there you have some more abilities where you can place uh, tokens to your map. These five cards plus this number one, you're going to shuffle. And then we're going to go through this deck. And then I will place these cards here. And then we're ready to start the game. So let's just start. We need to, to try and get the most points, or as many points. Points is coins in this game. So we need to get as many coins as possible. So we need to fulfill these three objectives. We need to build and explore and earn coins, money. So let's get the first card. We are going to get two grassland. So we can play, we can only place on this space. So we have to place two cubes and uh, we have to place one here. Then we place this one, we have to resolve it. We are going to get a coin. So we will get one coin. I will place my coins up here. Then the second one, do we want to go down here or down here? Yeah, I think we will go. We will go down towards this area, maybe. So now we have this water area where we can build two. We need to get down to a tower and. Preferably, we would go down to two towers, but I think that is going to be difficult in the first round to uh, to do that. But we'll see. But I don't think we can go to two towers in the first round. Okay, we will flip the next card. We got two of anything. Two of anything. 
Oh, what do we want to do with that one? That is a bit early. We can, of course, put one here and then we can get our first village. Oh, we can place two tokens. Two tokens. We are going to get one more of these desert. One more of these. I would really like to come out here and, and, and make a village on one of these two islands. Uh, so we have the desert. We have the desert one. Uh, so we could maybe put one on the desert. Oh, this is a big village up here. So I would like to see if I could make this one. We still have one of these. So maybe I could do like this then. Then we will get a treasure. Of course we can get up to this area. I know I will get one of these. Oh, but then I would also get two of these. Ah, oh, this is difficult guys. What do we want to do? We don't know what we are going to get. Um could also go this way instead. But maybe we should do like this then. I think we will do like this. Because we will get these two, so we can make a city here. Or a village. We could also make a village here. So we have made one, because we need to make five villages. So we could make a village here. And then... We can put this one here. Could of course also put it there. Ah, no, I think I will put it like this. So we make our first village. And uh, we are going to take one of these and I'm going to place it either there or there. I can't place it where I have a coin, but I can place it on this space or on this space. Mm, if I place it here, I can build. When I, when I build, I can build from my capital. And when I have Explorer Totion, I can build from my Explorer Totion. But everything has to be connected. I have to build. But if, when I have a village, I can start from the village the next time and not from that one. So maybe I want to place it here so we can go to this direction. Yeah, I think I'll place it there. And we have built our first village, so we're going to get one coin. One coin. So we like to get villages because we can build from them in the next era. All exploration tokens is going to be removed, but all villages, they're going to stay there. And then we can build from them. Okay. Now let's see what we get next. We get the water. Perfect. We got the water. So we know we are going to get one of these. And we're going to get this. And then we're going to get this one. We don't know what that is going to bring us. Um, we would like to... We will get one... We will get two of these. And only one of these. Um, so either we are going to go down this way. So hopefully we could get something so we can get to this one. Or we are going to go down this way. Um, so I have to place them in a straight line. So the question is, are we going for this one or this one? Are we going for that one or that one? Uh, I could also go for this one. Because then we could get these two cities. Because we are going to get two of these. Oh, gee, 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 gee. I will go for... Um, if I should be lucky, 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 lucky. If I should get a tower this round, it might be easier this way. Even though I don't have any of these there. Ah, but I don't know what the arrow is going to bring us. Maybe we should go down this way. Because then we know for sure we can place these. And hopefully I will get something with this one that can help me. I would like to get a house out here. Or a village. Or a village. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we will go that way. 
we will go that way. Then we'll see. What are we going to get? We did get this one. So this one I am going to place one mountain. We are going to place the mountain here. I think we bring it there. Yeah, let's see. Then we will get our desert. Two desert. Two desert. I think uh, I could put the desert here and then hope I will get something that can help us. That is actually one. Oh no, that is not that one. I don't know. I, if I do this one, I have made one more village. So we are making more in that way. But if I do like this, then we have a possibility to make a village out here. But I don't know what I'm going to get on this one. I would like if we have received that one earlier, but we're going to get two cards. So I have to be lucky. I have to be lucky that we have something that can help us. Yeah, we're going to take a chance. I'm going to take a chance. So we will get two coins for that one. Then we have to be really lucky. What do we get? Oh, we know we get this one though. But what do we get here? We got this one. I want something with mud. Ooh, we got something with mud. Yes, perfect. Per oh, and that is free. Yes. Uh, I, I, I mean, I have two I can choose. Oh, boy. Both of these are good. Okay, 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 guys. With this one, explore up to one sea and four desert spaces in any order. And with this one, explore up to three mountain spaces. Double the value of any coins you earn from these spaces. So both of them are good because if we take this one, we can we can take these three spaces. Then I will get f uh, six coins, and we have fulfilled this one, so we can get this one. Oh, but this one, then we can get two villages. If we make that down, we can get two villages. With this one, we will get one. I will take the one with the mud though, because we have two cities then, and ah, and we will get the money. But I also really wanted this card. But this card we're going to put in the bottom of the deck. And by the way, the way I'm playing is exactly the same as if you're playing with multiple players. These are the only difference that I no, these are the only difference that I have to place these and cover up spaces to to yeah. But this here, we are now going to place three tokens on any any areas. So we're going to place it on here, so we're going to place it on the city, that is our number 4, then we're going to get one coin plus two, three coins divided by two, so we're going to get, no, multiplied by two, so we're going to get six coins. Six coins, oh that actually brings us to ten, so let's just take, exchange these for a ten. There we go. Normally you will put them like this if you're playing with multiple players, so it is hidden how many coins you have. But when we are playing solo, we can we can show them. It doesn't matter. And then we have to play. We have two things we have to do. We made a connection between two cities, so we can say two times four. That is eight. So we're going to get eight coins. And then I have to cover up one of the cities, and I will cover up the little one that is only for two points. Uh, it has to be. I have to match the side. This is this one, I think. That one? No, is that a mountain? No, I think it's this one. The desert. It's just... Okay, so we have to cover up one of the spaces so I cannot score that city again. But I, I can choose which city, and I'm going to keep the one that has four points on it. Then we are also going to place, we have uh, here all this region is covered up, and if there's a city, you also need to cover up the city. So now I can place a village, and it has to be on a space where there are no coins. So it has to be on this space here. So I can place a village there, and that is going to earn us one coin. So that was the last one. This one we're going to place up with the number one. So we know each time we have the number one, we're going to get the ability of this card. 
So that one we're going to get more times in the game. Okay, that was the first error. So now I need to take all my explorers back. Everything else is going to stay. And we have two villages on two different spaces. So we are close at this one. We just need to make one more village. And for this one we need to make three villages, but for this one we need to make two towers. So I'm going for these two towers. I will see if I can make this tower and then this tower. But I don't think I can get do it in time to get the, the ten uh, coins. But maybe I can do it in town to get the five coins. You'll see. We will have to take the arrow one and the arrow two and then these cards, then we are going to shuffle them. So when you are playing with more players, then all these are going to be the same for all players, but these are going to be different because each player is going to get their own two investigation cards and then choose one of them. So we are going to shuffle these and then we are going to start again. And let's see what we are starting with. Two of these. Desert, and I can now place from here. I definitely want to go towards this space, so I will, I will, I will, I will place. I have the free water, the free water. I can place. I have to place them in a straight line, so I can place them like this. If I'm here, I can place them. I, I'm allowed to only place two if I want to. I don't have to place all three. So I would like to get those two juicy coins though. So I can if I but I could also place them here. Then I would be able to then I would be able to do like this when I get the free water. So I can build there and there. Yeah, I think I will skip the two coins for now. Even though they were tempting, I'm going to do like this. Yeah, and then we will take our next card. Oh, yes, we got the error too. Oh, but yes and no, because we have to place this one. I, I don't think we couldn't make both of these though. But we are going to get our new card now. So we know what we have. Oh, what is now this? So with this one, explore up to one desert, grassland, mountain, two spaces, uh, two sea spaces, any order, pretty good. And with this one, Explore one mountain space, then explore up to three spaces connected uh, to this mountain in a straight line. Ooh. So if I added one here, I would be able to go like this. If... Yeah, and I have to do it now. I think I will take this one. There's, there's a lot of options on this one. With both water and different terrain types. I'm definitely going to take this one. Because we need to move around, we need to go to different lands. And with this one, ooh, we'd have to do it now. We'll be going to get, we can just, you know what, I'll just do like this. Place them on these so we know we have to, uh, so we can remember the different land types. Oh, so we could take our two coins. Uh, but I definitely want to get over here. Uh, I won't be able to make... Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will. Okay, okay, okay. We need to get over to this space. So I will take the two water and I will place them. I think I will place them. Yeah, like this. Place them like this. Uh, yeah. Because we want that one to... Doesn't matter if I place if I place it like there, I would be able to build to place there if I wanted to. So we will place those two. Then we can take the grassland. That is going to be this one. Ooh, and maybe we can connect these two cities then. And then we can take this one. Um, do I want to take that one? I'm going to get free mud, so I would be able to to use that one to fill up this space. Uh, ooh, but I also want this one so we can connect these two so I think I will take this one here 
so we have this one connected. And then we also need to want to we want to go to this one. Oh, we also need to go to this one. Ah, yeah, we need to go to that one too. But it is also nice to connect these two. Um, and then we have this one. I think I will take the two coins. Then we just need to fill one more space there. So I will take two coins. Oh, I will just exchange these so we can keep them down. And we can put the five in so we can take a ten instead. There we go. Yeah, that is what we're doing with that card. But that was pretty good. A lot of different stuff we can cover up. We can cover up. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We still have. But we have two. We could cover up this area. Yeah. Yeah. Or should I instead go for this one? So maybe we can make a, a village there. Or we can make a village. Yeah, let's see. I will put it there for now. Oh, so much to think of. <laughs> let's go with the next card. We get a mud. We get a mud. We get a mud. Hmm. Yeah, but we also want to get up to this one. But that is going to be difficult. Uh, but maybe we can if we use our water. If we use our water, we can get to this one. We can just place two water. And then we have to place a token there. I can't, if I fill up an area again, I can't put, put a new village. There can only be one village in each region. So with my, I kind of don't want to fill that one up because that one will give me four coins if I use that one to do it. Uh, but uh, I would have liked that this one hadn't showed up now. But yeah, that I cannot do anything about. But, but. But yeah, maybe I will do like this then and just, just take one coin and then we'll see what is going to happen because I want to use this one here and it is going to give me double coins. But we would also like to get to the tower and so maybe we could score five coins. Yeah, because that one is going to be covered up when we get this card in the next era. All right, next card. We got the water, so free water. So are we going for the tower? Or are we going? Or are we going that way? We could get, uh, but I think we are going for the tower. We will go this way. I can't place the last one because it has to be in a straight line. So that one I can just remove again. But now we are adjacent to the tower. So we will be able to place a cube here, and that can be any cube. So we can put, yeah, I hope we will get the desert. So we could actually get both towers with the desert too, and then we will get these two villages. Okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine. We will get our arrow one, so we're going to get our free mud, and we're going to cover up this one, one, two, Three. And with this one, we're going to get four coins. So I'll put one in and take five. Then we're going to place a village. So I will place the village. I will place the village. Do I want to place it up here? Or do I want to place it down here? I think I will place it down here. There. And we're going to get two coins for that one. Two coins. One. One, two. 
And then, and then we're going to get our next card. Two juggles. Yes, I want to connect the two towers. By the way, we have we have completed this one. We have uh, three villages on three different uh, land types. So we have completed this one. So we're going to get 10 coins. Perfect. Oops, 10 coins. So we can't, we, have, we, can't we, we have to remember these ones up here. So we just need two more villages, then we have completed that one. So that one we can hopefully do before arrow three. Okay. We have to place two. Mm. Yeah, so I have two des decisions now. Because I will place um Ooh, I can't do everything that I want to do. I want to connect the cities. That would be awesome. Because that is 12 points. So I want to connect our tower. So when we connect our tower, you're going to take a tower and place here. Because we can only do it once. And then we're going to get six points for our first tower. And then we have this one. Oh, we can do it. I can place it here. And then we can place these two. Yeah. I'm not going to get this one. I could have gotten a village here, but I want to do this instead. So with this one, we're going to get three times four. So 12 points for that city. So 12 points. Um, I think I will put three in. Take three ones. So we're going to get 15. And then we can exchange. Oh, we actually have four tens and two fives. That is going to be 50. So let's just exchange them for 50. So we have 50 there. Okay. So we got a tower. We got points for the tower. We got points for the village. And then we can actually get the next tower. So we can get five points there. Yeah. The last card is going to be the two grasslands, so that we are going to place, so we are going to get one coin, plus we are going to make our second tower. So one coin, and then we are making our second tower. That is going to bring us eight points. So we have two ones, so we can take those two and take a ten. And then, because we have finished this one, we are going to place a token here, and we are going to get 5 coins. So we can exchange them for a 10. Let's just keep exchanging, so we have these. Okay, that was the second era. So we did manage to complete these. Now we need to make two villages, and hopefully before, before we get the era 3 card, before we get the arrow free card, we have to take all of our explorers back. There we go. And then we are going to take all these three and then shuffle together. And we are going to get, when the arrow free card comes, we are going to get our last of these. Because in the end, we are going to um, we are going to with this last one we can choose any of the three error cards to use in the last error. But we can only use one of them. Alrighty. Let's see what we are going to get and what we want to do now. Because we need to make more villages. Need to make two more villages if we want to get these ten points. And then we need to connect... Oh, I needed to cover up one of these. Oh, which one are we going to cover up? No, that is the right... This is the grass. Yeah, this is the right color. We need to find the right color and place. I need... To, I think I will cover up... Oh, I'm not sure I want to go this way. I want to go in this direction. 
yeah, so I think I will cover up this space here. Oh, it has to be this color. I needed to color up one city when we scored for this one. Because then I can maybe connect these. Because I have made this city, so I don't need to make that one again. Except, of course, it would be for points. It would be for points. But we need to make more cities now. We are in era 3. So, let's start the round. We get two deserts. Hmm. Oh, I want to get up to this area because we have these three, so we can make this city. That would be pretty good. So I definitely think that we are going to go and place these two. And we will get one coin. Yeah, that is what we are going for. Arrow one. Oh, and it was actually this one that came now. Oh, yeah. So we are going to take these three. Yeah, so we want to get to the city too. I'm going to place one, two, and I'm going to place it here actually. Because it's going... Uh, am I? I'm, I will get one more. I will also get one there. Yeah. Oh, but I will get a lot of coins. Or maybe... Should I? Maybe I should. Uh, I will place it there then. You're going to get... Oh, but it's four coins if I place it there. Because I will get extra coins. But then I don't know when I will finish that city. But I will finish it. I will place it here. So we are going to get 4, 8, 12 coins. Because we want to use our ability where we are going to get double up on our money. So 12 coins. The other one we can make. The other one we can make. There we go. 12 coins. Because we get the one. And we also get one here. And we also have this one. So we will make a city up here, or a village. But of course we need to make the village before this one comes out. Oh, but then again, if I get grassland, I would also like to... Click. Oh no, guys. Oh No, I will do it like that. Let's see what we get. We get water. Free water. Um, where do we want to go with the water now? Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? We need to get more cities. We, we, we don't have any treasures yet. And we can't use these for treasures. We will get two more water though. Oh, we can get a treasure if we go this way. Do you know what? Let's go this way. Then we can get a treasure. Our first treasure. So we're going to take... A treasure token, place it here, and then we're going to get a treasure card. And we get for one coin for each village we have made in, in an, uh, a mud area. That is perfect with this one up here. That is perfect with that one. Where are we going to place these then? I think I will just place it down behind me. <laughs> yeah, so you have to remember what I got there, guys. <laughs> okay. That is, that is perfect with this one. So we need to make a lot of uh, villages in the mud areas. But this is also a small area. So we could maybe make... Yeah, we'll see. Depends on what card we're going to get on the third here. Well, that was the water. Then we get two grasslands. And two grasslands. We are definitely going to place one in this city so we can score points for the cities and then we have one more grassland uh, I don't have a village here I don't have but we maybe we want to go up here do we want to go up there so we can get a treasure and get to this island maybe we can get up to that one but we only have two water we could maybe get up to that tower if I place it here Ah, oh, see, that would have been perfect. Place it here, and then we would have received that one. Mm. 
Yeah, but we also think we need to make more. We need to make one more village. We can make one here, and then if I place this one in this area, we would be able to make a village here if we want to. Ah, uh, no, I think I will go this way. I want to go up that way. I want to go that way. You'll see. Okay, okay. What are we going to get next? A desert. So our one desert we are definitely going to place. Oh, I couldn't place that one there, guys. I can't place that one there. Oh, then we will place it here. I will just place it here and take a, co a coin. This one was not connected. But now it is connected. So we connected these two cities. So we're going to score three times three. That is nine points. We can put one in and take ten. And then I have to cover up one of them. Mm, do I want to cover up this one and then try to build from there? Yeah, I think I will cover up this one. So this one we're going to cover up. So we can't score for that one again. Yeah. That was the mod. Then the next one. Arrow 3. That is this one. What that I was about to make a mistake. I'm not going to activate this card. I have to draw two cards. I have to draw two cards. Then we'll see what we will get. What is this now? Explore up to four spaces within a single region. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. Then then, then, then I can make a number five city. Oh, uh, I haven't made that one. Oh, need, need, I need this one. Explore up to two mountain and, and uh, three desert spaces. Then we can make two villages. Oh, perfect. Okay, guys, guys, this is perfect. We are going to take this one. We are going to take this one. So, and we can place them anywhere. So we have two mod. So I can place one mod at this space. So then we have made our city and I have one more mod. So I'll just put this one. We have one more mod. I'll put the mod on there and then we have three uh, desert spaces. So we made our city. So let's, or our village, let's take our village back and we will get our free coins. So we will pay two and get five. Yes. So we made, that was even better. This was even better than that card. Oh, perfect. Good thing I discovered that, guys. But it also means that I have to place these tokens, by the way. So we cannot get the number 10 points anyway. Ah, <laughs> that is true. What am I thinking? I had to place that one. Okay, guys. I I'm pretty sure I did a rewind on the other one. So, because I was about to make a mistake, but I discovered that it was a mistake. Um, so I didn't make it in time anyway. Ah, but I, I still want to make my second village, right? I have one more mod I can place. I think I will just place it, it here. So I will get a coin. You can get a coin for that one. You can grab one coin. And then I have three deserts, so we can make a village. So we can actually make a village here. We can make a village here. One, two, three. Then we have all of this covered up. So we have our fifth village. We will going to. I will place the village at this space, I think. At this space. And then we're going to get three coins. So we'll take two in and get five coins. And then we have 50. Well, let's just exchange these. So we have 50. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. And then we have this one. So at least we are going to get five points though. We're going to get five points. And then the last one doesn't matter because we have finished that one. So five coins for us. At least we got something. So we have won the game. 
we have completed all of these, so now we just need to get as many coins as we can to do it as good as we can. Okay, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Then we have our next card. That is our number two. Now we have this one. So what can we do? Maybe we can go up and get this tower. Maybe we can go up and get that tower. Yeah. So now we have water, water, desert, grass, desert, grass and mountain. Um, let's see. Is there any way we can get to this city? Because if we do, then we can score nine points. Yeah, and we could actually... Ooh, I think I have an idea. Maybe we can make a village here, and then we could... Uh, uh, we could make that city, so we can connect these two. Yeah, I think that is a thing I wouldn't mind doing. Yes. I can go. We have two water. So with the two water. I need to go. I want to get that city. We could also, also go for that city. And then we could go for that city. And then we could use that one. Because then we can make a village here too. Yeah. I think if we go like... If we go like... This... No, this one is not connected to this one over here. So we have to go from this side. It has to go for that one up there. Yeah. And then we will take... One... Mud... We can get a coin, and then what can we do? We have our desert. Uh, then we can. Ah, oh, we can't do both. Then no, I will take my coin back. I'm not sure that is what I want. Oh, decisions. Decisions. Mm. I want it all, I want it all, but I can't, I can't get it all. I don't think I can connect the cities then, because I want to make a village out here so it's easier for me the next time to go up here. We, but we could also... Go for the village and then build in the next round. Let's go for the this point, these points, I think. So maybe we should go for that one up there. So if we place this one, then I can place two water spaces. Now, yeah, but then I can't get the city. Oh man. This is decisions. Um. Oh, shoot. What is the last one? That is true of anything. Okay, I will do like this then two waters there then i can place one mod there then i can place i can place this one here oh yes so we can make that one yes we can make this one then and we can make that one no we can make that one and then we have a grassland Grassland. Then let's just grab two coins. 
Let's just grab two coins here. Yeah. Oh, the, guys, this is Finky. Finky, Finky, and how you want to exploit it all, and um, how you think you can get the most points. And you always know which cards you're going to get, but you don't know the order, in which order you're going to get them. And then we have this one, where we can do two. So we can connect this city. So we are going to get, we're going to get three times three, nine, nine coins. So we can put a 10 over here and get a one back. And then we have to close one and I'm going to close this one up. So we're not going to use that one again. And then, then we have to place our second one. I can either place it here or here. So I can make one of these two cities. And then I have to place a token there. Uh, do I want to make this one or this one? I think I will make uh, this. Oh, I need all the mud cities because they will give me extra points because of this one. Right? So they're going to give me extra points. But then again, it's going to be easier to cover up that village. That village is going to be easy to cover up and make in the next round. So I think I will make this one. No, I will make this one. So we will get a coin and then we will have made a village because we are going to place this one here and that is going to score us three coins. So we will take two in and get five coins. That was a good turn, guys. That was a good turn. That is it. Then we are going to get all of these back. And we're going to go to the last round of the game. So we're going to have all of the cards in. And, oh, let's see. We should be able to get this tower up here. I'm not sure we will be able to go all the way up to that tower. <laughs> oh, but you need to make more city. Oh, we can connect these two cities. We're able to connect those two. Maybe we will get be able to get up to that one. We have to make, if we can make more of these mud cities, then we will score an extra coin for each of them. And maybe we should find some more treasures. We do have a treasure here. And we have some more treasures close by. We only got one at the moment. But I definitely think we're going to get that treasure. Yeah, you'll see. All right, let's see what we're going to start. Oh, we're starting with this one where we can choose any of our three cards. Which of these three are we going to choose? Which of these three are we going to choose then? Hmm. Maybe we should take the one where we also have the water. Should we take that one? Now when we have it at the start, we can of course fill out this one. And then with the two mods we could fill out this one. If we take that one, then we have we, then we will make two cities. And then we will ha have this one covered up. Yeah, I think I think I think I will take this one. I think I will take that one. Because then I can place two on this space. And then we have made a little village. Uh, so we are going to make a village here. And that is going to bring us four points. And our, it also brings us one point for our end goal. So that is four ones. Oh, I can exchange these two fives to a ten. So we have these. So we have four ones. Yeah, and then we have the three deserts. And then I think I'm actually going to make this one. One, two, three. Because then we have this city. So we're going to get four again. So we will put one in and place a five. And we're going to put a little village. We're going to place it. Oh, might as well place it. It doesn't matter where we place it now. Wow. Well, I did shoot with this one, didn't I? Okay. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter because, yeah, it's the last round. Okay. That was... That, that was pretty good. 
One more village. I've never made this many villages in the game, I think. Okay. A mud. A mud, a mud, a mud. Yeah. Ah, oh, I would have liked that one later on. But let's just take grab two coins from somewhere. Uh, I think I will grab two coins from here. Might as well grab two coins, right? Oh, that is going to be five. And then we are going to get arrow two. That is this card. So we're going to get a lot of different stuff. So now it's time for me to go this way. So I will place one water. So that is going to give us a treasure. So let's see what we're going to get. Oh, for each tower we're going to get a coin. And we are on our way up to that tower. So that would be three coins. I don't think we, we can go all the way up here. Okay, so that was... That was that one. Then we have the the desert. No, not desert. The grassland. We're going to place a grassland here. So we have these two connected. That is going to bring us nine points. So we can take nine. We didn't have a one. And we have a, a five. One, two, three. Four. I will just exchange these two to a ten. So we have these. We have this. Okay. So that was that one. We have to cover up one of them. I think I will just cover up this one. Doesn't matter. They are on the same same spaces here. So we will just put this token in here. And then we have one. Of, I will put uh, this one. If I put it here, we could get that one. We could get that one. But I want to be able to go up here. Or do we? We could get one more treasure card. We know we are going to get the one where we are going to get three. But then again, we can get double coins. I can mark up both of these. I can't for sure do it if I go up there with the water. Uh, let me see. With the water, I think I can go here because then I will be able to get this treasure. I can also just uh, place it where we also have a treasure down there. Mm. Can the can the desert help us in any way uh, in getting near a treasure? I don't think so. No, the desert can't help us in that way. No, 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 no. I could take a chance and take that one. Should we? I can still get this treasure with number f with this one. I can just place two, or I can place three that way. I can place three that way, so I don't have to place this one. Maybe... Ah, uh, no, I will keep the coins. Mm. I will... Go... I think I will just place it here, so we are next to these two. And then for the desert, we are going to place it. I will get two more, so I could make one more village, that is points. So why not place it here, so we can get one coin. And maybe we could connect these. Yeah, so maybe instead I should place this one here. We have a city up here. So if I connect them, we could get points. Um, yeah, the city, do we want it here? Yeah, I think I'll put it 
Ah, ah, tough decisions. <laughs> I will put it there. <laughs> no matter what, I will put it there now. Let's get on. It's fine. Let's move on. Then we get two of these. No. Nope. Then I can place these two grasslands here and make a village. Let's make another village. We can place the village here. This one is for the grassland, yeah. And that is four coins, so let's put one in and take a five. And then let's exchange the two fives to a ten. There we go. Okay. And then that was it. Next card. Two of our choice. Oh, two of our choice. Um, two of our choice. Ah, oh, then I should have chosen this one before. I should have chosen that one. Oh, we need two of our choice. Because we can place anything on that space. We still have our number one and number three, so we have two more mud. We have three muds there, so we can make more of the mud cities if we want to. But shouldn't we get some treasures? Definitely think we should get this treasure here, right? Um. Ooh, we could also connect this city, so we could get nine points on that one. Uh, which we have, yeah. But I think then I will take a treasure card and we are going to get, we haven't had the number three yet, so, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, mm. maybe we shouldn't go for the treasure card then. Oh, we are going to get, because if we can fill up one more of these spaces, then we could make this city. And we are going to get water there. Yeah, let's. I am will actually go like this up here. Oh, we can go this way then. So we can get two four coins. I will take four coins. So I will take a five and put in a one. Yes, because then we have four spaces. We get. We are going to get three. Oh, we are not going to get this one again. But we can connect the city. Ah, then I don't want to take that one. Do I? No. Yes. No, I want to go like this then. I will take two coins back. Then let's take a treasure instead. We will take a treasure. Because this one we can use to go to the city. So we will take a treasure instead of the two coins. No, treasure is here. Oh, we get to place a cube. We get to place a cube. Oh, when we get to place a cube. Ah, now I have to decide. And that is just a one-time use, so I can discard this one afterwards. Oh, where do we want to place a cube then? Um, we can use these three to get this one. Um, and... And where we can, we are going to get number one and this one. So we're going to fill up this space. We're going to fill up that space. Uh, we could, we could connect this city too. So if I take this city, we would be able to connect Oh, but we can use the grassland there to connect this one. Is there anything else? Oh, what can we else do that can help us? In maybe... Making... Some more villages? I don't think we have more villages we can make. We have a little... No, we are not connected to that one. Mm. 
I really don't think there are anything special. Then we just need to place it to get coins. Because at this one I want to use this one for. Because we are going to get double coins. So let's just... Maybe we should just connect these then. Mm, can I go towards a treasure in any way? We could go to this treasure then. If I place it here, then we would be able to get that treasure too. We have two, mm, but then we're not connecting these. It would be more points if we can get this one. Yeah, I think I will just connect these, so this CD is connected too, so we can get uh, these CDs. We need to max out our points, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the long thinking. <laughs> okay, let's get on. That is what we're doing. Number one, this one. Yes, let's fill up this space up here. We're going to say one, two, so that is eight coins. That is 4 plus 4, 8 coins. So 5 plus 3, 8 coins. Let's just exchange the two 5s to a 10. Okay. Then, uh, that was these two. Then I will place, I, let's just place this one then. So we have that one. Oh, I'm not going to get the number two. I have had the number two. What am I thinking? I have had the number two. Ah, oh, well, it's still a good thing I connected these then. <laughs> Getting confused, Helle. You have had it. Okay. I got a tower. So let's place the tower here. We are going to get ten coins for the tower and then that is it oh what am i forgetting we have had the number two we're only getting the number three so we're not going to get that one. Oh, we still have this one we still have this one. Oh yes perfect ah no worries oh this is <laughs> oh guys okay we have two oh i placed this one wrong <laughs> we have the two grasslands. Oh man. Two grasslands. We're definitely going to place one here. Then these are connected. It is connected to this one. So it is two times three. So that is six coins. We're going to get six coins. And then we are going to place this one. And it has to be the dark side. This one. And then I have one more grassland, one more grassland. Uh, but this means I'm the only cards I have left is free water and this one. So I'm not going to get, I'm going to get one more treasure card. That is it. That is it. So it doesn't matter where I Put, I can just put this where I'm going to get coins. I don't have any place where I'm going to get two coins. So I will just place it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I will just place it here and get one coin. One coin. Oh, let's just exchange five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Two. And the fiver to a ten. Wow, I think this is going to be my high score, guys. This is going pretty well. <laughs> pretty well, even though I was putting this in the wrong area. Okay, two cards left. Now we have the number three. So we are going to get two of these and three of these. So we are definitely going to place these two up here. So we are going to finish this area. So we are going to build a little village up here. And that is going to score us four points, so we will take the one to five. And then we have these three, and we are going to place them here. 
going to get two coins and then we have connected a city so we have three times three that is nine so ten more coins for us pretty awesome well ten more oh could it one two three four five tens so we can get a fifty more That was pretty good, both a village and a city, and then the last one, free water. We are just going to get a treasure card, and we have to place them in a straight line somewhere, so it doesn't matter. I can take that one, I can take that one, I can take that one. I'll just take go from, uh, go from, oh, I'm not sure, yeah, I can take that one, I am here. Let's just go for this one. It doesn't matter. We are going to get our last treasure card. And this is one uh, for each of these green area. For each city we have in a green green area. So, that is it. Now we are just going to score for the cards we have here. So this one, we are going to get a coin for each tower. So that is three coins. One, two. One. Two, three, and let's take this one as the second one. So for each of these grasslands, we're going to get how many grassland cities do we have? We have one here, or villages. I could never call them cities. That is villages. I actually think we only have one because we didn't go for those. We have one because we had desert and uh, the mount. So that is one coin. One coin for that one. We only had this one here. This one we did not make a, city, a village. No, no, no. But this one for all, all of our mountain spaces. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six coins for this one. And then, that is all we're going to score. Then it's time to add up all of our points. And this is absolutely crazy, guys. This went awesome. We have 150. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we got, oh, we nearly got 200. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 169, 169, 4 coins for 200 points. That is very awesome. I don't hope I made any mistakes anywhere because I think we did pretty well. We did pretty well. Wow. And of course we did. Uh, complete the three goals and in it's the rules it does say when you play it let's just look okay. okay in the rules it does say um, difficulty level to win you must complete all three goals while reaching a uh, Gold thresholds, which varies depending on difficulty. And we have uh, 90, 120, 150. And we definitely made the hard one. We definitely made the hard one. We got 196 points. So we won on the hard level. Wow. Whew. <laughs> that is pretty awesome, guys. And we did fill out a lot on the board here in the end. And we got a lot of villages. We got, I only have three left. So we got nine villages, play, uh, villages uh, placed on the board. But also think these were good. These are very good. Um, and, 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 and getting this one plus this one. And then also on that card too. That was pretty good. Yeah. 
well, this this is the game. So uh, this this does feel like a flip and write game because normally uh, you will have these where you flip cards and then everyone is going to write on their paper what they do. But here you are actually going to place cubes and then you are going to reset it in each era and then you're going to build again and then you can build from where you have placed your your villages and this is as you could see a thinky game in in where you want to place and where you want to go for and and also thinking about uh, the cards you still have left and try to remember to place them in the right spot not like when i placed it here and i thought i still had this one but uh, it didn't matter it didn't matter it was okay we just got one more fewer treasures but then we got something else instead um yeah but but it's a simple game and think it's a family friendly game i don't know why they have it on 14 age of 14 i definitely think you could be younger and play the game but of course if you want the strategies and and in thinking because you also have to think with these cities you can score a lot of points with these cities when you connect them when you have the four times uh, two or three and then you have to of course always cover up one of the cities that you have used but you can still use the other one to, to connect to another city and then to another city. And I think we actually got quite a, quite a lot of the cities. We only had one. We, we got, yeah, we got them a lot of times. Uh, we should, of course, have the, and at the end here, we should also have the taking up one. But it didn't matter. We were finished at the game at that point. So, yeah, this, this is the game. And I hope uh, you got a great idea about how the game is played. I definitely in, enjoyed this game. And I think it's fun and it's a puzzly game. And I like the element that, that yeah, you get all to do the same action out here. But you also have your own cards that you're going to choose. And, and there is a lot of different ones. Well, I mean, I also like this one. Explore up to four spaces within a single region. So you can just place up in any kind of color with this one. That is pretty good to uh, when you have these villages, when you need to make a lot of villages. So there are a lot of different types you can get. So, and this is going to be different for, for, for each player, what you have. Explore any number of connected seas in a straight line. Oh, so you can, if you are here, you could go all the way down here in a straight line. You could actually place three, six, eight. You would be able to place up to eight water spaces here. I think that is the longest. Wow, <laughs> that is a, yeah, yeah, so there is a lot of different, and this one, if you want a lot of treasures, then you can explore up to four sea spaces and draw an additional treasure card if you got some treasures. So there are a lot of different uh, things you can get. Mm. And then with the treasures, we are, there are more of the treasures. There is also somewhere you can, if you get more of the same, you can then collect but that is if you're going to collect a lot of treasures here. If for the first one you have of this vase, you're going to get one. If you have two, four, and then nine and up to 16, then you have coins. Then you have, uh, for each two villages you have, you will get a coin. So I had nine, that would have been four, four coins. Then for the grassland, yeah, and then where you can place a cube. This is the different uh, types you have. And for the... Yeah, so that is the treasure cards, and uh, that also made me want to go even more for the for the mountain areas when I got this one early on. But it yeah, it was a good thing match with the the mountain card I had. And in this game, there are four different maps, and the one I played was Avin Avinia, and then you also have Akon. And they are a bit different, and some of them have some uh, different rules to them, something else added to them. So we have this one. Ah, there's a lot of different land types, right? With small islands. We have this one. Knidaria. And here we have some crystals. We also have a bag with crystals. So you can use the crystals here. And then we have Kazan with volcanoes yeah so i just wanted to show you all the four different map types and for each map there is six uh, gold cards and you're going to shuffle them and take three gold cards for the different maps yeah 
definitely think this is an enjoyable take to the flip and ride, roll and ride, where you're not riding, but you're using cubes instead. Uh, I like this take to it, and I like the puzzly part, and you're having to think, and, and but also you know the cards you're going to get. Of course, not when you're going to draw new ones, but yeah, I like the puzzly element in this one, and I think it's fun to play also solo, and, and if you're going to play with more players, where you're going to compete against each other with these elements. And of course, I had to, uh, when we got the, this one, I had to place this one here and here, but it didn't matter. I had completed them. But if I hadn't completed them, then I wouldn't have, wouldn't be able to get these benefits. Um, yeah. That was the game. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of the game, and I will say thank you for watching. <laughs>